Hi everybody, welcome to the 7 Miracle Studio YouTube channel. My name is Eugene, and in this video we'll continue talking about the top modern house design trends in 2023. Today we'll take a closer look to outdoor designs. Any outdoor design project starts with the site investigation, relief descriptions and technical design specifications. These specifications must contain all design requirements and goals. At first, you need to understand the landscape properties. These are the area's climate, average yearly temperature, wind direction and intensity as well as precipitation amount. This is the kit to build an outdoor design. The best you can do is to call on professional constructors. The second stage of outdoor design is planning and zoning the yard. You have to define the borders of the front yard, backyard and leisure zone. The front yard is the area right in the front of the house. Usually it sets the tone of the whole outdoor design. There might be flower beds, plants, lawns, alleys and lighting. Near the entry there can be a playground, a fountain or the artificial waterfall, eye-catching bushes or trees. Meanwhile, the backyard is away from prying eyes. You can cover it with perennial plants, create here a kitchen garden or build a swimming pool. The leisure zone is one of the most important parts. Pay special attention when designing it. Usually, it is situated in the backyard. It includes a garden house or a tent for barbecue parties, a pool, a playground and any other equipment that inhabitants might need. There is a myriad of options available for both front yards and backyard designs. However, most often designers and owners choose solutions with the main objects, which is the centerpiece of the whole design. So, the first popular trend is an outdoor kitchen. Consider an opportunity to go beyond barbecue and grill zones and elaborate a real outdoor kitchen with kitchen appliances and a refrigerator. Some might say it's too much, but some might definitely like this idea. Just imagine, you don't have to go inside the house whenever you want a cold beer or lemonade. Also, you can impress your guests by making your favorite meal right in front of them. No more overheating indoors, you can make jams or dry tomatoes in your outdoor kitchen. Firebits have gained popularity over the last few years. There is something primeval in watching the fire while sitting cozy outside with your friends and family. What about fire safety rules? The fire pit shall be placed in an open space far from trees at least 7.5 meters from buildings. The fire pit size shall be at least 2 square meters. If it's possible to follow the rules, you can create a fixed side fire pit with a solid non-combustible foundation. With architectural concrete, you can copy the texture of wood. This artificial stump will beautifully fit into your barbecue area. It is also has a lamp inside it. The next trend is outdoor leisure zones as an extension of interior designs. Since we spend our urban lives in traffic jams, breathing in petrol emissions or in air-conditioned offices, breathing in households, chemicals and perfumes, we appreciate the time spent in the open air. We leave our houses to eat out, work, spend some time with friends and family, rest, read and enjoy ourselves. That's why garden houses or patios now look like fully-fledged living rooms. There are all types of furniture there, and even TVs. Any leisure zone requires a lawn, trees and other plants. Finding a balance between architectural pieces and green zones is the key. The fourth trend is small architectural forms as the main element of outdoor design. Well, it's not particularly a trend, it's rather a way to organize the space. 
garden houses, benches, artificial stones, statues or artificial waterfalls in your garden will never go out of style. What can change about them is the materials they are made of. The front yard is the area right in front of the house. Usually, it sets the tone of the whole outdoor design. There might be flower beds, plants, lawns, alleys and lighting. Near the entry there can be a playground, a fountain or artificial waterfall, eye-catching bushes or trees. If I had a countryside house, I would also build a waterfall for myself. The sound of water helps me to calm down and relieve stress. For example, you've chosen a wooden garden house as the main element of the outdoor design. You've decided to lay a lawn and decorate the landscape with the natural stones. In this case, if the stones are relatively small, no more than one cubic meter in size and up to two or three tons in weight, it's easier to bring the real ones. If you want a more sophisticated project, like a pond or a waterfall, or if you want to create an ensemble of different objects, such as a big artificial stones, benches, retaining walls and girdles, it's better to have them sculptured. Why not natural stones? At first, handling natural stones is much more difficult from a technical point of view. You have to order them, select suitable ones and bring them to your place. Apart from trucks, you have to get a loading crane and other heavy vehicles. They will ruin your nice and neat lawn. Also, all the services that I mentioned before are costly. Second, due to the heavy weight of natural stones, you have to fortify the foundation. Third, you must select the natural stones thoroughly so they match each other and other objects. It's a challenging task. And the most important thing is that if you want to create a pond and a waterfall, you have to deal with complicated technical structures. They have pumps, water supply and filtration system. Where will you hide the tubes, flexes and pumps? Remember that the pond or the waterfall is the centerpiece of the composition. Sculpturing will help you out. When we hear the words sculpture or sculpture, the first thing that comes to mind is the Apollo statue of the Belvedere or the Arc de Triomphe. However, sculptures can also depict natural rocks, grottoes, stones and waterfalls. This is what the Seven Miraculous Studio has been doing for over 15 years. When we came to these objects, initially the customer purchased these small natural stones, which in a large landscape were lost from sight. So it was decided to create a central composition using the technology of the architectural concrete. Here you can clearly see all the stages of its production. Let's go and take a closer look. So, the stages. The first one is a grid on which the first layer is applied. The second layer with elements of art carving. The substrate in our case is light colored as you can see. And here you can see the already painted stone. There could be pumps, the startup system, electronics and the lighting system inside the stone. This is how the waterfall looks like from behind. There's a technological place with pumps, filters, wires, controllers and other stuff. It is also possible to create such a large stones from architectural concrete like this one. Another option of using architectural concrete is creating garden furniture, for example, a bench. You can also make steps and stairs in the same way of technique. In conclusion, we'd like to tell you how to choose a constructor for performing works with architectural concrete. Pay special attention to the material the company uses. The concrete mixture has to be highly resistant to moisture, temperature changes and mechanical stress. It also shall be as plastic as clay. The sculpture should have a degree in art or at least a portfolio with projects they successfully implemented in the past. Ask for surface and color references when approving the design. All this might help you visualize the final result and avoid unpleasant surprises. The warranty period is critical too. It shall be at least 5 or even 10 years. Finally, ask your constructor to take you to your own site to show their previous projects. In this case, you can see and even touch their works and make the right decision. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll find it interesting and helpful. Leave a like, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.